Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. We've got some hay to wrap. So we just got done hauling in all of the first cut and I wanna spin around and start wrapping up my hay because they are calling for a chance of rain tonight. So being is that I, I wouldn't really like my stuff to get rained on, even though as much as I would like the rain, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start wrapping. So let's go ahead and fire the wrapper up, get it set up and we'll start moving the bales to where we need them. right up so we've still got last year's tube right here this is the dry grass from last year I'm still using it still you feeding it up so we're gonna be putting the next row starting right next to it and then provided I use this up when we come through with next crop I'll put another row in here they are calling for rain to start which honestly we really really need it I just wish it would have held off just a little bit longer but uh, I'd rather take it than not. So if it gets rained on, we can continue doing this even tomorrow. The, we definitely need the rain. paint these PG and then the moisture this grass was tested at between 11 and 14 so I'm gonna write 11 Brian number one we've got all of our pasture grass wrapped which is gonna be the stuff that I feed in for the steers next year which is the stuff next to it. So you can see how it degrades over a year's time. That's what it looks like after a year being wrapped. And that's what it looks like fresh. I would still say that's pretty good quality for being a year old. Now we're gonna wrap the dryer alfalfa. And then we're gonna end with the wetter stuff. Try to keep it all compartmentalized so the wetter stuff stays together. fast everything in this row that I measured was under 15% moisture which we're looking for under 20 I know there's a couple that I measured when they were out in the field of alfalfa that were up to 30 so that's gonna be some of the last stuff that we put in we're gonna be finishing off this tube soon we're gonna throw an end cap on it keep it dry this stuff, it's so dry that we could just use a couple of the old bales to Zen caps, but uh, we got the bags, so I'm gonna use them. Yeah. 
So far, this, according to this, we've got 84 bales. And we used up four full rolls. And what's on the left there is our end cap. So, almost had enough to finish up. But we had to go down into the basement and grab the two leftover rolls that I had. At least they're ready for next time. So for first cut, I've got just short of three full rows. So yields are definitely down. Um, it is drier, which may slightly be affecting the yield, but I think it's more of last year. We didn't actually, we didn't wrap until the 18th and this stuff was cut uh, before the first of June. So it's definitely dry out, but I think a lot of it's that we cut it earlier. So the quality I think is gonna be much higher uh, in the long run but yields on the first crop were way down. But hopefully we can get a shot of rain here. And um, I guess I should have just left the stuff sit for a day and we would have gotten the rain, but that's the way things usually work with farming. <laughs> um, otherwise, uh, I've been checking the moisture on it and all of the bales that I've checked now have been going between nine and I think one was like 23, but all these last ones, the highest was 14. And, um, I think it'll keep pretty well in the tube since it's so dry. Um, the other way to do it is to get over 40% moisture and you'll get the curing or uh, the fermenting going on inside the tube where the aerobic bacteria will uh, basically quit producing once they run out of oxygen. And they're the destructive ones. They're the ones that take away all of your energy in the tube um, that's stored up. But the anaerobic bacteria are the ones that will process the sugars in the tube and change them but still have that energy be available for the animals when you feed it out which is it's fermenting the alfalfa if we were trying to make this hay wet i would have been a little bit more concerned about getting the stuff wrapped um, i think that we did a good job at getting it wrapped we didn't have any problems but uh, i would have been a lot more worried about making sure that everything's right because you don't want any holes in the tube because that will allow oxygen to get in, which will damage the quality of the alfalfa. But uh, we'll see how yields go. Hopefully since we cut it earlier, we'll have a higher yielding second crop and uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But this put, sets us up to be making hay around the 1st of July, depending you know, on the weather a lot of times, depending on how much rain we get and how it pushes the hay along, which that was our chance for rain. Some of our further farms might've got it, but this one did not. This one's our most easterly farm that I can think of. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. 
And be sure to follow us on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.